tonight. Tim Cotton says whether the world agrees with him or not, he is a writer. A writer, excuse me. There wouldn't seem to be much doubt about that since Cotton is now out with his second book, a collection of essays, most of them with more than a little humor. The title of the book is Dawn in the Dooryard, Reflections from the Jagged Edge of America, Maine being that jagged edge. Cotton retired this year from his job as a police officer, which gives him more time to write, but he says he's wary of getting lazy, so he pretty much sticks to his old routine. But I still write early, very early in the morning, three o'clock or so, and uh, three to four, three to seven, something like that. Um, but I don't write now unless the mood I'm in the mood. I'm not trying to make it a job. It's not my job. I, 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 retirement's my job. I know that writers all have their own schedules, their own habits. What works for some doesn't work for others. But I don't know that I've heard of anyone who gets up at 3 in the morning and starts to write. Well, I, First of all, what are you doing getting up at 3 in the morning? As you get older, as I got older, I feel like I was missing some of the day. I feel like if I'm not up, I might miss something. My granddad got up early in the morning. And I remember waking up and hearing him listen to the Today Show in the 60s, you know. Now, that was early to me as a kid. But now, I have to wait for that to come on. You've got to wait four, yeah, hours, four hours for that. That's always a day for most people. I know. I just, it was just what I do, and it's not uh, for any special reason. Tim Cotton worked as a police officer, and along the way, in an improbable stroke of luck, he became kind of famous. His humorous posts attracted an extraordinary 331,000 Facebook followers to the Bangor Police Department. And his creation, The Duck of Justice, became a genuine viral hit. In the summer of 22, after 34 years as a cop, Cotton retired. But he didn't give up that Facebook page. Writing the Facebook page for the Bangor Police Department must give you a nice steady stream of stories that can turn into ideas for writing. It's a bounty of goodness for a writer is to hear the stories, to, you know, get the stories relayed to you even by cops currently. Um, and certainly the, some of those things find their way into other parts of my writing, there's no question. Does the famous Duck of Justice still play a significant role in your life? No. I mean, not for me. The duck doesn't talk or can't write. It was a fun aside, and it took off to a point where I still can't imagine how, how many people come see that duck. Um, but people still send me food, like duck food. Uh, <laughs> and I try to explain it. Well, the duck is not alive. It never. It hasn't been for a long time, probably 40 years. So people still... But they... they they connect with that. And they connect that to the police department. I think it's a great thing. Um, but for me now, the duck is in his museum, and he sees his people, and he's not called or written since I retired, I can tell you that. What do you do with the duck food they send you? I usually throw it away. <laughs> I don't keep it around. I don't have a lot of other ducks that want it. Um, it's a strange thing, and it's helped me, quote unquote, be discovered. I mean, I wouldn't have written without that duck. Um, I'm not sure people would have found my writing. And, and that's where I became. I was able to nourish, you know, something that I hadn't done. Uh, so, um, you know, I have to thank the duck for that. You write in the introduction to this book that you have finally, finally come around to the point where you can look at yourself in the mirror and say, yep, I am a writer. Yes, I have. Uh, you know, before that, I, I tend to tell people I write stuff. And it is stuff. You know, there's things that are good. There's things that aren't good. I hope I haven't written my best stuff yet. I always say that because if I have, I'm in trouble. Uh, but yes, I, I think so. I, I, I think I'm a writer, yeah. What are some compliments you've gotten from readers, from folks, just plain folks, who've read something that you wrote and then said something to you about it? I have had a lot of women who have, have written me notes, have come to see me. One from Indiana drove the trip to tell me that I got them through their cancer because they had something to read and they enjoyed that. That was something positive every day. Or they read to their parent who was passing away, maybe hospice, and they would read some of these simple things I wrote to them each day. And uh, when someone tells you that, you know, that's a, that's a mighty, that's a mighty bo big boost. Um, you don't really feel worthy of it, but you, you accept it and, and you think, well, maybe some days, you know, I, I, there was a purpose of getting up at three that day. You retired from the police department in 2022. Do you miss it? No, not even, not even a little bit. No, I miss the people. I miss the conversations, but I don't miss police work proper. Not at all. Do you have any interest in 
writing a novel based on, to some degree, or inspired by, perhaps is a better way to put it, your experiences as a cop? I am, I'm writing one. My next book is, is a novel. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. I can just tell you that. I, I really enjoy writing it. So that's what I'm working on now. As you say yourself at the opening of this book, you really are a writer now. <laughs> I, I, I'm hoping. I'm hoping I'm correct in that assumption. I tell you that. I think he can take the hoping out. It's happened. It's Absolutely. now. It's, it's done. Oh, I love Mason Tim Cotton. He's great. And I always loved reading the Facebook posts, too, yes. because I feel like they gave a different face to police officers other than, like, license and registration, you know, the serious stuff. It was, like, fun and so funny. And I wanted to pull up a post because he always ended it with, keep your hands to yourself, leave other people's things alone, and be kind to one another. And I loved that. Yeah. 300, I mean mentioned it in the interview, 330,000 Facebook followers Insane. for a, you know, smallish to medium-sized police department. Yeah. I mean, it, it just, it's unheard of. Yeah. And it's all because of Tim and his writing and his humor yeah. and the duck of justice. Ugh, Don't stuff. send him duck food, though. Yeah. He's, he's, he's good with that. <laughs> Doesn't need that. Again, the name of Tim Cotton's new book is Dawn in the Dooryard. You will find more information about him and the book in the 207 section of our New Center Main app and our website.